along the Mississippi River in North Minneapolis. Where they're growing mushrooms in a big concrete warehouse. Let's go. Ian Silverramp is the go-to guy for mushrooms in his hometown. Uh, I studied agriculture at the University of Minnesota and I worked in the forest pathology lab as a student. My interest really just kind of mushroomed from there. So how does one go about growing mushrooms in a setting like this? So the first thing you do is you mix the substrate. Hold on, let's explain substrate. This is a mixture of cottonwood and oak sawdust right here. This is ground ash, mustard seed chaff over here, and we also use spent brewer's grain. Those are our, our four main ingredients that we use to grow mushrooms. And they're all waste materials. Okay, back to the process. Then you st sterilize the substrate to kill all pathogens. Then you inoculate the substrate with the fungus. Then you allow it to colonize and incubate. And that's what you see happening behind you here. This is gonna be an incubation space. And then we move into the growing rooms and each mushroom will take three to six weeks to go through the growing cycle. An app controls the temperature, carbon dioxide, humidity, lights, and air movement in four different growing rooms, all critical to optimal growth. We're looking at some Nameko mushrooms right here. Really tasty, really crunchy, and pretty hard to find. So we're one of, if not the only supplier of this mushroom locally. Want to eat them? Snag a reservation at one of the hottest tables in town, Spoon and Stable, Belcor, Young Joni, among others, or cook them up yourself. They're available at several Twin Cities co-ops, or you can get them straight from the source, plus a quick tour, Saturdays and Sundays, 11 to 2. Hmm. Wow, super interesting, Laura. I love it. Really good.